Good afternoon, cult members, and welcome to Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And this is going to be our, uh, we've been saying all along, spoiler reviews of The Stand, and this episode is called Blank Pages. Uh, this is the episode three. Um, a lot of talk uh, online has been, uh, we're a couple days late because of the holiday. Um, it came out on New Year's Day and, well, New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, and it came, so New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, we were whatever. So we finally got around to it. Uh, there's been a lot of talk online about disappointment in this series. Um, and I've liked the first two episodes. Uh, but this one I really liked. Yeah. Like, I really liked this. Like, they're starting to really get into it. Yeah, I think if you can um, step away from the book, right, right. or uh, um, the previous series, which probably followed the book a lot, a lot closer than this one did, and I don't really know why they've necessarily made some of the choices they have, although in this episode, the guy who they never really give him a name um the crucifix guy yeah yeah um I, I, the the point of him was exposition right he yes he gave a bunch of information that um all you know all at once instead of um you know everybody's having these dreams and everybody starts talking about the fact that they're having these dreams and they're crucifying people mm -hmm. and you know this that's all information that you got through people um in Colorado having right. these, these dreams. So that was to speed up um, that. And it also kind of like, okay, now everyone, because the, they were having the conversation, the five of them were having a conversation yeah. before Brother Abigail got there <laughs> in the hospital trying to figure out what's going on before he does the exposition dump. And right. like, like, um, who was it? Glenn, right? Glenn doesn't believe at all. Yeah. And Stu's like, I don't know what to believe. And Larry's like, I don't even know why I'm here. Yeah. And... Yeah. So they're, they're all having their moment of, uh, lack of faith right. with what's going on. And so that was, that was the scene that gave them all like clarity that there is something big and bad out there. Right. We are all together for a reason, even yeah. if we don't quite understand it yet. And again, this is speeding up exposition that um, yeah. you got in in pages and pages and pages of them traveling to um hemford home which was actually in nebraska and then traveling on to um Bo uh, boulder yeah colorado they're, yeah, and they're boulder. they go to boulder but they called it something outside of boulder today in the episode and i can't remember what hemford it was home is it was it Hemford home hem hem Hemf ford home oh, hemford, hemford home, home which is the name of her Mother Abigail's farm in Nebraska. Oh, okay. So everybody goes, Hemingford home? Maybe it's Hemingford home. Anyway, uh, everybody goes there, but then they realize they need to move on to Boulder um, because there was, in the book, there was this big uh, conspiracy that uh, they were working on. Like, there was there was actual uh, germs, germ warfare going on there or... Uh, um, a bomb or something and it ended right. up being a weather station a weather reporting facility and so everybody left right so that was like the place to go because it had the least amount of dead bodies <laughs> um so yeah but they are kind of making it seem like it's the same place or her they, farm they kind of like of they kind of made it all like one like they 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 made the two. They've made the two sites kind of one. Yeah, it's kind of how they, which is a little uh, confusing. It, for, that, that's why I was kind of a little confused yeah. a little bit. But I mean, I liked what they did with the exposition wise in this episode because uh, the first two episodes has been character development, and we still have a bunch of characters that we haven't even met yet. Uh, Trash can man and all that stuff and stuff. So, so it was it was good for me. As someone who is aware of the book, like I said, I've been like through a third of it, and it's just too much, too much exposition. I'm, I'm not opposed to exposition, but get to the point for Christ's sake. <laughs> um, and, and but for this episode, I was super. I, like I really, I think this is probably my favorite episode of the point to, to this point because everything the the people become uh, figuring out the revelation of what's going on whatever it is right. the the scene that they had with um with glenn and Stu at the house and Stu comes and finds the paintings mm -hmm. and they are both realizing at that point now this is before they're even in boulder right but but 
them both figuring out, oh, wait, we're both having the same dreams. Right. We're both having the same um, – the, the same things are happening to us even though we didn't know each other until this morning. Right. And right. and so and so I – that – Yes, we got two good episodes. What I felt was two good episodes of character development, which you have to do. Now you got an episode of everything is real. Right. So I think that that's, um, you know, like I started to say, I, I have stepped away from the book <laughs> right. as much as possible and tried to just watch this um, as as a standalone thing. Um, Engage in the story that you're they're, they're that telling. That I'm being shown yes. yes and and i um uh, with uh, as with all stephen king fans i would love to see them actually do this book right it is gigantic and, and right. as we've said before nobody's gonna pay for a 20 episode um story right. you know as much as we want them to they're just they're just not going to not right now um same thing with um, uh, Ready Player One, right? We yeah, loved Ready Player, Ready Player One, One should have been three should have been three movies. Well, yeah, if they were going to follow the book, yeah. but we love the book, but we also really enjoyed the movie. Yeah, they are not the same thing. <laughs> yeah, we enjoyed the movie for what it was yeah, and the yeah, book yeah. for what it was. And if you can step back, um, I, I get people's disappointment that it's not, um, but. At this point, for me, I'm just watching it kind of outside of, of the book. Of that. So yeah. this episode was the farthest by far from what actually happens in the book. Right. Um, and and I'm okay with that. I, I liked the episode too. Um, again, I've just tried to... It's, it's too frustrating <laughs> to sit there and go, that's not how it happens. Right. That's not how... You right. know, I'm right. actually... I, right. I just... I can't. I'm not there right now, <laughs> emotionally. Right. right. <laughs> I can't. This, this, this I, is I not a mountain I want to die on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've just, um, you know, I've just watched it I've, for, for what it is, and to try to maybe understand the choices that they made, um, as opposed to following the book, doing it this way to the book that they've made these other choices. Um, and I'm okay with. I'm okay with how they're doing it. Yeah, I, I, it feels like, uh, not, uh, it feels like right now that they're building up to a big climax, like a big battle royale kind of climax. Well, yeah, that's it, what happens. Right, right, right. But what I'm saying is, it's going to be a multi-episode, big melee kind of thing mm, and and mm, and i think that's going to be I, more the spectacle of how they got it sold to actually make it i think that's i think the last two episodes is going to be full-on just batshit crazy going because they've they've they haven't shied away from showing stuff and so right but the actual ending of the book now again this depends on how right close i mean these aren't these aren't warriors they're not army right. they're not going to physically fight that's not how it ends yeah, yeah 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 yeah. and and the ending is it in the book and in the previous series the ending is kind of anticlimactic the the end of black because it just like you kind of expect this big god versus you know the, the devil the, and yeah, you know yeah. the, whatever and that's not it's it's almost kind of dumb the way it just ends yeah. right as far as how they um they end it, it's also a social um commentary on nuclear war right right <laughs> right nuclear stuff being spread out all over the desert and in the western united states but um We'll so um we have to talk about it um uh, we've 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 mentioned it in the past but we we it's a big part of this episode is amanda uh, amber heard as nadine uh nadine getting kind of the you know short end of the stick essentially being promised to flag early you know, as a child and them kind of explaining that and her really wanting to be with him kind of thing and and she's kind of the one in behind enemy lines, kind of working at whatever. But um, 
we've talked about it in the past about I don't I don't necessarily care what happened with Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. That's them and the legal system or whatever. I don't think that she she should be fired. I don't think he should be fired from any projects that they're working on. A lot of people do. I understand if that's what you want to do. Uh, if if you have that that thought process, I'm not, I'm not. We're not saying you're right or wrong either way. For us, we don't have a problem with it. Um, however, with that being said, she's really good in this episode. Like I I really felt the the personal despair that she has. And she actually even says it when she's talking to flag via the game anyways, but, uh, uh, that she feels lonely, even though she's surrounded by people. Right. And, and she wants to be with flag and that whole, the, her talking to him on the mountainside outside of Vegas. And then her talking to him when he's not in the room in Boulder and her movements are the same and her, inflection is the same and her emotion is the same and like like i really appreciate people who can do that and yeah. so i was i was really like happy with her performance yeah in this. her acting her acting um, yeah. is is fine it was it was fine um it's the again choices that they've made for this um her she is a different person than she is in the book she's different like in the book she didn't she didn't want to go to flag she was promised to him but she right, doesn't right. she doesn't want to go but then you know like she's very conflicted and she even there's even a scene where she begs Stu like there's this kind of unspoken kind of chemistry between her and Stu and she puts him off and so then he goes to Franny then later she has second thoughts and doesn't want to go to flag and tries to convince Stu to sleep with her because if she's not a virgin that flag's not gonna want her anymore right, right, so right. you don't get that that's not the performance that that either amber heard or the directors or whatever right, have right. have chosen for nadine they've portrayed her more as a person like you said behind en enemy lines she does not want to be there she wants to be with flag yeah, yeah. um so it, it's different but yes i have i appreciate her performance yeah I, I was really happy with it like uh what and how they kind of are setting it up that that there is actually you know people you know you have harold behind the lines and you've got uh, yeah and you've got nadine behind li the lines kind of yeah. like working the system from the inside out and so i really even like harold kind of had a a little bit of a line at the end of the episode that it's going to be the, they were talking about the first of the dead bodies that are fresh that they had to go. And he said the first of many and the guy he, he's with was like, Oh, whatever, you know, kind of yeah. like kind of, cause yeah. he's kind of a flake anyways, not, not Harold, but the guy he was yeah. with is kind of yeah. a flake anyways. Yeah. But, but I just, I just, I really appreciated this episode because they, they are starting to, the ball the ball was very small the first two episodes and now the ball is getting bigger and it's starting to actually get some momentum to it and right. i want if i i feel like i that's where it's going to start there's it's going to be one of those slow 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 faster 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 I, faster yeah faster. i would assume I and would. then we're going to get to the end and flag's going to lose uh and it would be so great if he doesn't <laughs> be such a twist that he actually wins or whatever right well he does i mean yeah he doesn't or mother abigail punches him in the face and he evaporates or something like that you know well <laughs> and that's the that's part of stephen king randall flag is um a continuing uh bad guy and a right. lot of his right. stories and they even make it that in in the he like disappears disappears and flies off as a raven or something right as the end is coming i won't say what the end is just to but um i would like to talk a little bit about the guy who plays tom cullen yeah so i felt his performance was good and potentially believable <laughs> i mean we we know him from other things, so that makes it a little difficult. Right, right. Um, but there has been a lot of criticism, not just of this, but of other, you know, why do we have to use a hetero person to play a transgender person when there are transgender actors and actresses right, out right. there? And the same thing um, with 
um, you know, handy, capable people. Um, there's the the guy, and I don't remember his name from Peanut Butter Falcon. I was just thinking, trying to think of his name. Yeah, and yeah. he, I mean, he did an amazing job. Yeah. Um, and so I just, you know, that's been a criticism. And, and I am sure that there are deaf um, actors out there that could have played Nick Andros. So, uh, you know, Hollywood needs to... They they've gotten a lot better about making decisions like that. Yeah. Have they really? They, they have no. They, they there's been a concerted effort by several studios about trying to do something, be better about it, but not everybody's there yet. I, and so I don't really see any studios that have. I can't. Well, think to of be one fair, example. there hasn't been anything new actually worked on in a well, while. So. I know, but everything up until the pandemic hit, they were still people were still complaining about why are hetero people playing transgender people. I, I, and, and I'm not I'm not saying that there's still not a lot of work to be done, but there has been at least a concerted effort. I can think of several that are, you know, Ruby Rose is hired is I was hired as Batwoman, a openly lesbian woman but playing an openly weapon and came in after her isn't uh she is oh i thought that she they is. said she wasn't yeah all right yeah. we're gonna have a different discussion about <laughs> but uh but um i think with tom cullen i think with with him you oh, it's the same with nick you almost need somebody who can do both be be able to portray the the disability of whatever it is, but also be able to not, because there's scenes where Nick is talking to Mother Abigail, and so he needs to be able to talk and 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 yeah, and but they stuff. Have and people, so like, people who are deaf, yeah, I, that I, can I, actually still speak, like they lost and stuff their like hearing that. Yeah. after they had learned to speak. I, it's it's I'm not I, I like the Amber Heard thing. It, the decisions were made and I understand why they were made at the time. I haven't had a problem with them, but I'm not watching the the particular show, this particular show because of I, I it's, it's not taking me out of it. Is that on me to be better? Sure. But I, uh, I, I didn't know. Well, what and I don't think that the criticism is that it's taking people out of it or that it is unbelievable, non-believable unbelievable um <laughs> double negative is i mean tricky. it's tricky um uh, a lot of people what was his name mark something uh brad william hinky hinky yeah um you know the things that i've seen they they have people have appreciated his performance it's not his performance it's just the again shining light right. on the fact that hollywood doesn't why why can't you just cast people yeah these people that are more yeah, it's it's Everybody needs to be better about it. Yeah. Everybody needs to be better yeah. about it. Yeah. And uh and I'm not I'm not trying I'm gonna say this and then we can be, you know, done with the episode, but um but this was filmed and produced and arranged right when all of the the real talk was starting to happen. The Just, Me Too stuff. Uh, the, Is that the, what you're the Me Too, the 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 Black Lives Matter, the 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 shining light on all of this was just starting to happen on a bigger scale on a bigger scale i would say it's been happening oh it's quite a while (laughs) but on a big social media in the news scale it this had already kind of started production wise before all that happened and so i'm not i'm not going to hold it against them that they didn't do it but if they come back and do the stand in 10 years and don't do it now that we've had this conversation. Then we, you know, then I have a really big problem with it. Then I'll I'll be boycotting it and stuff like that. But, um, but for this particular episode, like we said, we both really liked it. Um, outside of the the stuff that we kind of talked about, the the questions we have, the differences between the book and the and the show. Yeah, we're I don't, just gonna engage in the story that they're giving. Right. Us, so. I don't I don't not like it because it's not because I have. I have uh, embraced the fact that we are never, ever, ever going to get a Stephen <laughs> King book that is verbatim. Well, we've got a couple, but <laughs> Christine and the uh, Stand By Me, um, pretty close. The one that they did on Netflix was pretty close too. Gerald's Game. Gerald's Game was wasn't that one? Pretty it was close? fairly close. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. We didn't watch 1912. 
So, anyways, we're going to talk about Stephen King and social media and and social justice stuff for the rest of the day. <laughs> so, let us know what you thought of this episode and our reaction to it in the comments down below. Please be nice; that is the requirement. And we're talking about some touchy stuff, so we're open to have the conversation. Just don't be a jerk about it. <laughs> uh, so, also like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, and follow us on all the social media stuff: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Links are down there. And until the next episode.